hello physical science students uh, the end of the year is quickly approaching and some of you have emailed me asking me about upgrades to um, units 7, 8 and 9 the three big ideas that you could have com uh, participated um, would have given you a chance to upgrade units 1 through 6 and then there is an A-level set of A-level assignments in unit number 10 but units uh, number 7, 8 and 9 so far don't have a uh, an A-level evaluation uh, there was supposed to be a, a big idea for unit um, what was it seven and eight I guess um, but I don't think we'll have time this year so this is um, a first assignment that you can use to upgrade unit number seven um, and then there will follow another one for unit eight and nine after you finish this one <clears throat> so we are in unit number seven which is on um, basically forces and fluids and then work power and machines that was the name of the unit uh, in this assignment um, you will focus on forces in, in fluids you might remember that in this unit we discussed um, how is it possible that um, hot air balloons fly and it had to do with with the buoyancy in, in air um, and we also discussed and you learned how, how um, submarines um, you know can rise and, and and, and sink in in water. Um, what we did not discuss was how airplanes fly, and um, you know the fact that we can send um, metal objects flying through air, uh, metal objects being much more dense than air. So buoyancy is not you know. Um, in other words, the amount of air that the aeroplane displaces, the weight of that air is much less than the weight of the aeroplane itself. So the force of buoyancy cannot be larger than force of gravity acting on the aeroplane. So it is not due to force of buoyancy that the aeroplanes can fly. And um, um, if we make a similar analogy to submarines, you know, the aeroplane does not somehow take in, uh, I mean, it's not sinking, it, it wants to go up so it does not it cannot work as a as a submarine either so how is it that that airplanes can fly in air which is much less dense than than the airplane itself uh, what is it that, what is it that makes the airplane fly uh, I have a friend who who went through four years of of uh, college um, a special college for aviators and, and he said that after those four years he's still amazed that the aeroplanes don't have to flap their wings when they fly and uh, so uh, it's not like the aeroplanes cannot fly like birds either it, they're not flapping their wings um, so it's not Newton's third law of motion you know you you push the wind you push air down and the air pushes you up and the stronger you push the air down the stronger the the air pushes you up it's not it's not Newton's third law of motion that's powering um, powering the aeroplanes, you know, lift to to go up. So that's my question for you. I want you to find out how how aeroplanes fly. And um, if you look at the name of this assignment, it's a big hint for you. Uh, there's a lot written on this on the internet. Um, I would also recommend that you. Um, that you look at the PHET simulation uh, called fluid pressure and flow. Um, you, we worked with the PHET simulations before, so you know how to find these. Um, what I would want you to submit uh, to me, and there's a, a link for submission in this assignment. Um, it could be um, a video. It could be a, a you know a set of drawings uh, accompanied by. Um, a, an explanation. Um, I don't really care in which form you give it to me. It could be an audio recording. Um, but what I would like you to explain thoroughly is how airplanes fly. And um, I would like you to also submit two pictures, uh, two screenshots uh, from this simulation fluid pressure and flow. Um, in those two screenshots I would like you to uh, to show me how the speed differs um, in places um, 
or not how the speed differs, how the pressure differs in places where the fluid is moving at, at different speeds. So you can see here the the red molecules being the fluid molecules, they move at different speed in this portion of the tube and in this portion of the tube. And you can actually change, you know, the 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 cross section of the of the tube in here. So when you actually open it, it will look just like a straight tube. And you can measure the speed and the pressure inside. And then you can change the cross sectional area of the of the tube. And now you can see uh, in this place the molecules move slower. Now the question is, uh, if the molecules move slower, is the pressure there less as well? Uh, it's, it's, it was very surprising to me when I when I uh, found out how this is, and this is closely related to how airplanes can, can fly. And uh, and I don't want to give you any more hints because I don't want to steal from you the, um, you know the. I don't know, that aha moment uh, when you figure out how airplanes can fly. Um, so this is your first A-level assignment. Um, again, I don't really care how you submit this to me. If you're going to do a video or if you're going to do an audio recording, um, please uh, you know, send with it also the two screenshots showing the speed, the speed and pressure in, in um, in places where the the molecules move slow uh, compared to when they move fast. So no matter what, how you submit it, this to me, uh, have somewhere in it, you know, this screen right here showing the difference in in the pressures between places where the fluid moves fast and slow. Uh, if you record the video, you can just re you know have this as a part of your video and and then move uh, you know this to to a place where the fluid moves slower it's it's crucial to understand this or to to see this maybe you won't understand it how the pressure differs in places uh, where the the fluid moves fast and where it moves slow but at least uh, you will know that that is the fact uh, you might not know why it is so um, even though in this in this um well in this simulation uh, the explanation should be sort of it should be self explanatory if you now, if you don't see the fluid molecules, then you probably have a hard time understanding why is it that the, the pressure is different. Um, but if you add the molecules and you can see what the molecules do as they slow down, um, you should understand um, you know, the differences in pressures. Anyway, I am probably speaking too much. I, I probably said too many times the same thing over and over, and I apologize. My wife, she doesn't like that when when books are slower, when movies are slow, and, and things are repeated over and over. So I apologize if you are the same way. Uh, I hope it makes sense what you are to do. Explain to me how airplanes fly. Um, and uh, please include in it the discussion on pressure and speed in fluids. Um, let me know via email if you have any further questions. Um, okay, here we are. So down here on the very bottom in Unit 7, there will appear this Bernoulli's principle uh, assignment, and I'll email you as well so that you know uh, that this is the assignment to upgrade A level. I guess I'll put some kind of a, a label in here showing that this is an A level assignment. Okay, um, I'll be waiting for your responses, and good luck. <laughs>